Good morning, it's election day in New York. What the fuck am I talking about, election day? It's Thursday. It's Thursday election day in New York, right? See the election signs, I'll walk by. I'm not making it up. So New York State has a, has, has the strangest rules in the world, right? Yeah, see? Vote. State elections today in New York, right? On a Thursday, in between two Jewish holidays, Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur. What else? Two days after 9-11, right? When nobody's paying attention. Nobody's paying attention. Everybody's fucking gone, right? Right? A week ago, you saw a few days ago when, when Cuomo uh, and, and, the, and the crooked DNC, the Democratic Party in New York, they threw Cynthia Nixon under the bus. They said she's a Jew hater. Remember, they sent out the, that was only a few days ago, they sent out a, a mailer to the Jews and said, Cynthia Nixon, who has a Jewish husband and two Jewish children, called her an anti-Semite. We're in Brooklyn, New York, remember? 200,000 vo voters purged off the rolls when Bernie Sanders ran against Hillary Clinton. Bernie Sanders, a Jew. They said he was anti-Semite, -sem is an anti-Semite too. A Jew. So today, Cynthia Nixon, this is, this is the crime scene right here, right? All across New York State are fake elections, right? Am I saying they're fake or are they fake? Why are they fake, Conti? Because the DNC, in the DNC fraud lawsuit down in Florida, the DNC admitted it, that they don't, that the primaries are a selection process. But nonetheless, we still believe that there is an election going on. And that people are convinced that, that their vote counts and they need to get out and vote. Right? So what's the big, what's the big power grab today in New York, right? Andrew Cuomo is the sitting governor, right? Firmly in the pocket of Wall Street, right? He's the Wall Street darling, right? Also up for grabs is Attorney General seat. That was Eric Schneiderman. Remember him, the corrupt Eric Schneiderman? His seat is up for grabs, the, uh, and uh, Letitia James will fill that seat, right? Now, the two candidates, I'm, look, I'm no lefty. I, I just, I believe that Cynthia Nixon and uh, the other one, Zephyr Teachout for Attorney General, would be better for New York. Why? Because they believe in single-payer health care. They, they, want, they want to get money out of politics. They want to delete student loans. They're, they're way more for the people than the corporatist Democrat, Wall Street whore, Mario Cuomo. So, and always, it's always nice when you get the incumbent out, right? But that's not going to happen today, right? It's not going to happen, right? Democrats control the booths, right? No election, there's no, there's no exit polls anymore. They don't do that shit anymore. That's too revealing. Remember in 2016 when, they, when they, the exit polls didn't match the actual vote? Because we, we vote on antiquated machines in New York, totally riggable. Totally rigged, right? You're not allowed. You're not allowed to take a picture of your of your vote. When you mark that paper and you want to take a picture, you're not allowed to. That's a misdemeanor. You're the criminal. They turn you into the criminal. So where does Cynthia Nixon and where does Zephyr Teachout fall short? It's that they continue to fight on social issues. They continue to fight for for rights that they already have, like abortion rights and, you know, immigration. Instead, they're screaming down on the border of Mexico, ICE FUCKING up! ICE ABOLISH ICE! <laughs> rather than, rather than go, because you knew this was coming, Cynthia Nixon. You knew this was coming, come on. You knew that if you run in the Democratic, the corrupt Democratic Party, right, that they were going to stick a knife in your back. And today's your knife. Today's your knife. Bernie Sanders. How's that, how's, that, how's that taking over the Democratic Party thing working out? How's that working out for you, Bernie? There's your two candidates getting thrown under the bus. Right out in the open. Debates, everything, the whole fucking shit was rigged so far. Right? 
they, they got poles coming out today that that uh, you saw that the poles are already they're already calling it they're already calling it they already got they're already calling it for Cuomo and, and, and James right it's fucking seven o'clock in the morning nobody not one vote has been cast yet they're already calling it I'm calling it Cuomo wins Letitia James wins right this is it what why is it is it just New York no, it's across the board. Wherever you have a Democrat, you're going to have cheating. Wherever you have a Democrat, you're going to have cheating. What is the solution? Well, number one, you, it's, not the, it's not Trump. Is the, Trump is not the problem. Trump is a symptom of a problem, of corporatism, of mon monopoly, oligarchy, right? right? That, he's the symptom. The solution is, is in Congress and the House. To get rid of 535 and start over. <laughs> well, advertisement for my hometown. Right? You got to get rid of these fuckers, man. How does it feel, Cynthia? Now that you know that you got fucked, how does it feel? Ah, ah lesbian love. Ah, 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 ah. <laughs> Ooh, how does it feel to have Cuomo's dick in your ass? Ooh, Andrew doing the pushing today. Ah, fucking Andrew doing the pushing. He's pushing up on the lesbian. See, that's what it is, man. You guys got fucked. You guys got fucked. Now, will you take your Now, will you take will you take that energy? Will you take that fucking and come out as an independent and fight. Continue to fight. I don't think so. Because I know what's going to happen. Tonight you're going to lose. Everything's cool, right? And you know, Cuomo's he's only gonna be he's not he's gonna be gone next year, uh, four years, right? And they're gonna tell you, Cynthia, it's good, you did a good job. Pat on the back. Right? Next time, next time. Next time, next time. Right? When Cuomo leaves, it's all yours. The ball's yours. Right? And you're gonna swallow that shit again. Over and over again. Justice Democrats. Our revolution. Oh, Oh, you thought you had it, Ocasio Cortez. Oh my God, oh fucking oh my God, we're gonna win, we're gonna win, right? But here's here's the here's the proof, right? In this election, this is a crime. This should be a fucking crime scene. This should be a fucking crime scene. This is not no fucking election. No fucking election. It's a crime scene. It's election fraud. They're stealing your fucking election. Election. You can't call it an election. Show up, manufacture the consent, and, and suck it up to the corporate Democrats. And let them keep stealing your money right out the back door on Wall Street. How's it feel, Cynthia? He's deep in your ass right now. And you're just looking around saying, what the fuck happened? I thought they changed. I thought the Democrats changed. I thought that they were for the people. That's what Bernie said. We're going to reform the Democratic Party, and they're going to be for the people. Why don't you stop bashing the President of the United States, Trump, who's actually making an effort to expose some of the corruption? And why don't you admit that the elections are rigged and it's a fraud and stop participating in the bullshit? Run as an independent. Tsunami. Tsunami of people. That's how we win. My name is Marcus Conti reporting candidate for the United States Senate. So if you guys, by the way, Cynthia, after they stick, stick it in your anus tonight, right? Afterwards, right? Why don't you give me a call? Why don't you come out with me? Come out with me and, we'll, and we'll, I'll, show you how, I'll show you how to run a real campaign, right? We'll take the Senate. Cynthia, both take the Senate, take a house seat, right? And we'll, and we'll do some damage. We'll, 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 help, we'll work on behalf of the people and not the corporate oligarchy, not the 1%. Peace.